Hello, welcome to part two of how we can convert objecting AutoCAD, object, objecting AutoCAD into a block. Uh, and if I bring this close, you can see this chair is blocked and uh, we have this uh, cabinet here, it is disjointed. So we want to uh, convert this into a block so that we can, we can make it easier to work with. We can copy it or carry it anywhere without coming to trade, leaving its trails behind and uh, bother you trying to pick everything and join back together. So first of all, the first thing you have to do, you have to select every part of, of the disjointed object. So I'm, I'm going to select that and select everything here. So I've selected everything there. So let me just mouse over this so to see whether this is part of that. It is part of that actually. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to select everything to be included right there. So let me just highlight everything there so that I have everything in my selection prior to converting it, to, converting it into a block. So what I'm going to do here, since I've selected this the way it is, and I don't waste a lot of time once I've, once I've converted it into, into a block and uh, will force me back to come again and start deleting it as we did on, on, on the chair that we had done on part one. So I, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to right click and come to copy or move. I want to move it aside so that when I'm doing my uh, my editing or getting rid of it on that uh, on, on that uh, position there, I'll be able to do it uh, smoothly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just to let me just add this point here because it seems I've left it out there. So that's it. So let me just select it once again. The reason why I'm pulling it out because it is congested. Because if I try to select it, I'll pick some parts of uh, of the drawing that I don't in intend to include in this particular block. So I've selected this hole. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press Control Shift C like that. So it, you'll notice that the moment you press Control C together, you'll be able to see on 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 the command line on the command uh, inst on, on the command instruction uh, field here. You can see we have been asked to pick the base point. So base point you can pick any part or any uh, on any side of this particular uh, object. I'll select on that. So once you've done so, the the, the next thing you you're supposed to do press Control Shift and V. So the moment you press Control Shift and V, this will convert this into a block. So we can we have we are at liberty now to get rid of the previous one. So if I just select pick any part, you find that everything gets selected. So I'll right click and come to move and pick it from that position right there, and uh, maybe uh, deactivate the auto mode there right there, and I'll position it right on that spot. Let me just place it right there. So you can see if I mouse over it, everything gets selected. So that's how you work with conversion of objects into into block in AutoCAD. There's so, though there's so many ways you can also add this into AutoCAD library so that you, you'd be able to pull them in and bring them to your working area. So there's also another way where we can also convert the whole thing or the whole plan into a block because sometimes you've done a bigger estate or a bigger estate that has quite a number of units and you want to arrange them into that layout so what you can do you can also convert this into a block the whole plan into a block so as it is now i've selected everything here so what i'm going to do i'm going to press ctrl c so once i've done uh, uh, press ctrl c i'm going to pick any part to define my base point and select on that so once i've done so i'm going to press ctrl ctrl shift v and uh, click aside. So this, this is now a block. So I can just pick any part of it and right click and come to copy. So I can uh, populate this as it is. So I can uh, populate this, maybe I want to place another one there at a distance of maybe that distance and that distance. So this is very useful when you're trying to create a layout of uh, maybe you're creating an estate, but you've been requested to give a layout plan of all the buildings uh, in place. So first of all, to make your to make your work easier, first of all, uh, convert make that plan into a block so that and leave the original as it is. And because you you you'll uh, you you'll at some point try to modify, but uh, the block once it is in block, 
you'll, you'll, you'll somehow find it difficult to modify it if you're not uh, good at it. So this is how you convert it, uh, convert all the pro objects into, into block. So that's how it's done. And let's meet on the next presentation where I'll, I'll be showing other tips and tricks in AutoCAD. And let's meet then. Then bye-bye. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel.